Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about toxicity of morphine. Morphine is opiate agonist and the spelling of morphine is M-O-R-P-H-I-N-E. Morphine. Each alphabet can give you indication about selective toxicity while M means meiosis, O means other toxicity like sedation, R means respiratory depression, P means pneumonia pinpoint pupil, while H means hypotension, I mean infrequent urination, N means nausea, and last but not least is emesis. The main focus is pinpoint pupil. You can say the spelling of pin P I N pinpoint pupil so that the mnemonic is morphine causes pinpoint pupil P I N while skipping the intermediate alphabet H. Morphine causes pinpoint pupil. Let's talk about Opioids. Opioids include agonist, mixed agonist, antagonist, and some proper antagonist. These are opioids. Agonists include fentanyl, morphine, which further include oxymorphone, hydromorphone, methadone, mapiridine, heroin, codeine, propoxyphene. While mixed agonist antagonist include nalbufene. Buprenorphine, tramadol, tependadol, while antagonists include older class, which include naloxone, nalmefine, naltrexone, while newer antagonists include methyl naltrexone, LVMopan. Last but not least, antitussive, which are used for cuff suppression, include codeine, dextromethorphone. These are all about opioids and the toxicity of opioids. What are the clinical uses of opioids? First is analgesia. Second is cough suppression. Number three is treatment of diarrhea. Number four, management of acute pulmonary edema. Number five, anesthesia. Number six, this is not a clinical use. While we can say some sort of clinical use, opioid dependence. For analgesia, for analgesia opioids are used for suppression of pain treatment of moderate to severe pain that is in fractures that is in cancer's pain okay in the acute setting of treatment of pain strong agonists are used which are given par anteriorly par anteriorly the strong agonists include fentanyl and morphine which are given par anteriorly that is that means skipping of enteric circulation while fentanyl can be used by transdermal patch for providing analgesia up to 72 hours for less severe pain and chronic setting moderate agonists are used sometime in combination with NSAID estaminophen for the cuff suppression drugs include codeine dextromethorphan these are used over-the-counter drugs that means without any prescription used worldwide treatment of diarrhea which include diphenoxalate lopinamide for the management of acute pulmonary edema morphine is used morphine is used because of its hemodynamic actions for anesthesia opioids are used as pre-operative medication and intraoperative adjunctive agent in balance anesthesia protocol because opioids are included in general anesthesia the general anesthesia are caused by general anesthetics and general anesthetics are further divided into two groups inhaled and intravenous inhaled are further divided into two groups gas nitrous oxide and volatile liquid including halothene while intravenous include barbiturate which include thiopental thiomylal and methoxy sorry methoxidal while dissociative include ketamine which block nmda receptors while miscellaneous include etomidate propofol 
opioid agonist use including fentanyl morphine and last but not least is benzodiazepine including midazolam these was all about morphine and general anesthetics hope you have like our video if this please subscribe this channel thanks for watching this video stay tuned